It brings us back to haters. Yeah. They can, can get inspiration from people. You get, you get juice. Yo, shouts out to that lady who's Emmy nominated that hates me. God bless. <laughs> God bless your soul, woman. Oh. I had never thought about winning an Emmy in my life, but because you hated on me when I got... And she hates me for the most ridiculous reason. God bless her soul. She hates me just because I'm not a Democrat, Dick Dubois. You know what I mean? Uh, like, like I've had Democrats I like and I push for them, especially yes. locally. But I'm sorry, lady. I can't be a Dubois. And God bless me to fuck around and get rich. I really, I, I don't take money from any politicians or political parties. So if you see me stand next to someone, it's because I really believe. Um, and if they don't convince me to believe, I'm not going to stand next to them, yeah. right? She wanted me to stand next to somebody. I'm like, you know, sorry, lady. I've, I've had some conversations with her. You know, I've just, I've tried my best, but I'm not hating, but it's just that ain't my thing. But this chick was just like, I'm going to use my platform to, and I'm like, you don't really have a platform? Yeah. But she, in her bio, she's an Emmy-nominated actress. Mm. Man, winning that Emmy sure felt good. Uh. I just, I, I blocked her, but I'm sure someone has told her. But I'm just like, holding it, I hope she sees the picture, like, yeah, thank God for your hate, lady, because it made me care. I went to the I went to the ceremonies and walked away with a trophy. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And to her, there was a study that was done recently about left wing authoritarianism and yeah. the, the way certain people behave, and that it's just it, it's like a bunch of different psychological conditions that are they're almost indistinguishable. Yeah, from like you know like horrible narcissism. Hor- horrible, uh, so- uh, like psychotic behavior. Like, see if yeah. you can find it. What what their conclusions were. But well, at the fringes, yeah. when people, what what happens is when you have groups that are ideo- ideological j- groups, whether it's the left or the right. Yeah, you're gonna get people that just join that group that are absolutely insane. Yeah, and if you don't call it out then you have a giant problem because people are going to associate you with whatever the worst aspects of, of your, yeah. like, right-wing Proud Boys, like yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. The experts somehow overlooked authoritarians on the left. Many psychologists wrongly assume that coercive attitudes exist only among conservatives. Of course, it's a I, human characteristic. I did a, a speech for FIRE, for the organization FIRE, and I, I missed saying, I'm sorry, the brown shirts of Italy, but I, what I meant was the brown shirts of Germany, that... As the as the left, as you accomplish more power politically, don't use it as a bludgeon in the same way you've perceived it to be used against you. Right. That you you have to you have to rule, quote unquote, in a in a in a in a more fair and equitable way. You can't let your fair and, and equitable thoughts become totalitarian. Yeah, you, know you also can't give in to this crazy instinct that we all humans have to be tribal. Yes. And I am a Democrat. I am a lifelong blue no matter yeah, who. Yeah, 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 you yeah. can't, yeah. that's not and that, and that's, that's both. Yeah, it's both sides, but we tell yes. like, I grew both up, I was sides. fortunate enough to grow up in a household where my grandmother was SCLC member had from Tuskegee, had been a part, born in 1932, had been a part of civil rights stuff. My grandfather, so my grandmother grew up on a farm could go to school. They weren't wealthy, but they had food. They had sustenance. They had education. My grandfather grew up working in a sawmill at eight years old because his father abandoned his family. and He had to feed his mothers and sisters. So his mentality was much more libertarian, I would say. His mentality was if God gave you an appetite and a mind to build a fishing rod, you should be able to catch fish. And my grandmother mm. was like, you shouldn't complain about having to buy a fishing license because the game warden has to make sure things are legit and somebody's to clean up the park. So I got a chance to see these wonderful mm. political arguments between these two people that loved each other. You mm. know, my grandmother, college-educated woman, my grandfather drove a truck and, and hauled moonshine and gambled, you know what I mean? Yeah. He married this God-fearing woman. He never, I never saw him walk in the church. But they had these great debates that showed me that there are no absolutes that there are going to be some things from each side that make sense yeah. to run a, a good household. And they kind of, they, I, I watched them just do it right. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I'm glad I saw that because I don't feel married to any ideology. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's important. Shouts out to Betty and Willie. God bless the dead, man. Yeah, getting uh, attached to ideologies is always a bad idea. 